Um, let's talk all about uh, medicine and... Your mother uh, sucks in hell! Just try it up aside! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, well, it, I might, say the it might just pop out any moment. I don't know. <laughs> the Maybe Jerry's right. The Pope did come out against exorcism. And he also yeah. said a nice thing about the Jews, so i And he can get seat to the Nick game and four walk can't, so I go with and the big guy. Did he damn like seven places on Earth? What happened? Didn't he, like, the Pope damn seven places on Earth? One of them was in Kansas. He Unholy, did. yeah. We gotta look into he it. He damn really my cool. hometown? Some place in Kansas said it is unholy, and that's it, because there's all kinds of cult stuff. And he's just a vapid, oh, yes. he's ungodly okay. place. Wow. Um, seven. Thank you Don't for that, Dave. I appreciate it. Mm. <laughs> we know well, a lot of nightclubs you could have damned, huh? Over across the country, about three hundred thousand. <laughs> all right, Bill. What's the question? I'm sorry. I just I wanted. I'm it. Antichrist. Every now and then, I'm allowed to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about uh, medicine because I know you're a hypochondriac. Oh, so I want to move the tail a little bit. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> because you, you are always concerned about your health, and I always want to get your opinion and your feelings on these <laughs> matters. Now, okay, I'm going to drop the, the, la second anyway. the latest controversy is that you can get certain uh, prescription medicines over the Internet, uh, most notably Propecia <laughs> and Viagra. Ooh. Over the internet. This could be a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Why are you losing your hair? Mm. Um, <laughs> no. Oh, maybe she has a penis. Do you have a penis? No, no. no. Hey, Viagra. Oh, Viagra is for women too. They oh, say. yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't need really? Antichrist. Uh, that's right. That's the kind of thing Antichrist would say. I'm trying it's it out. A, it's a plumbing thing. You know, the blood goes to the same spot, so things happen. <laughs> what wow. is a, um, actually a very well condensed version yeah. of what goes on <laughs> <laughs> and I would say the same about your pants <laughs> anyway um, <laughs> now of course the doctors of this country and the AMA are against this because oh, let's be honest they're businessmen they love money like the rest of us and they're the middleman being cut out totally it's like record industry same thing I'm in the record industry and all right. the stuff going on the internet exact same thing right the internet is a pipeline directly to people and this is a and, threat and this is a good thing not a bad thing a right. pipeline to the people means that we get more information right. um, it means that we can uh, join support groups if we become ill we can educate ourselves about the illnesses that we have it means that we can make in runs around HMOs that's well, what this means it's going to be a pipeline to quacks too you know so it's right. Yeah, buyer beware, you know. It could be a pipeline to a quack also, so buyer beware. But what, but what is somebody using? And Propecia is for baldness. Viagra, we yeah. know what that's for. What, what, why shouldn't these things be available over the counter to begin with? Why should I have to go into a doctor's office and pay his $100 fee to get permission to take something that I should be able to get anywhere? Yeah. Here, and not only that, how about antibiotics? I'm sick and tired. Every time I get a sinus infection right. or my child has an earache, I have to pay $100 to go to the doctor. I know, but if you cut your finger off by mistake, you know, typing, and you, you know, or your testicle rolls off, <laughs> you can't say, you can't ask the computer to help you, you know what I mean? You've got to do something. I, I am with you, the HMOs, you know, you can't go to therapy, forget that. Three sessions and you're out. They go, oh, suicide. You ever think that suicide is an alternative to uh, depression? I mean, it's really a shaft. I mean, you want to ask me about this whole thing? I think it's I great. You've got to get help on the, on the internet. Because you know what's going on now? It's really a, a, it's a shaft. You know, the insurance companies got shafted by doctors forever. Now they're getting back at the doctors, and the doctors are, are screwing us that, because we, now because of the HMO situation. Because the doctors are putting everybody under the knife for no reason. Like they were, they were doing operations like left and right for years and years. Like, gee, you have a little bit of a phlegm, you know, take your appendix. I mean, there was, there's thousands of stories like oh, that. Yeah, yeah, now yeah, you right. go to the HMO, you're lucky if you can even get like a prescription for tissues for a cold, man. So, and 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 I'm more concerned about the mental health for you know for reasons that are right. obvious. Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. that well, was I'll a, tell you that that's historic. That that, that, that was quite a shot, huh? That, yeah. Don't don't, don't what happen. Yeah. So if you go on the internet and you're asking for a prescription for something and you get the prescription and it turns out that you take something and it's not good for you and you you know and you're gone. But how could you that have any recourse? How could that happen with Propecia or Viagra? Well, what Viagra? you may have something in your system that doesn't agree with it. I mean, there, there was, you, Viagra, I mean, we know that Viagra is not good for certain people who have heart conditions, supposedly. Well, well, I mean, as we, as we go into, like, this is like a science fiction age of drugs, man. I mean, this is like a fantastic age for drugs. Um, there are more new drugs in coming. Where are they going with this? You're oh, taking them all wow. out. <laughs> what do you mean? Wow. What's your I website, man? There are more <laughs> subtly effective 
and untested drugs being on the market now than ever before because the guys, let's just face it, the chemists are better at what they do now. You, the market or the street are you talking um, about? <laughs> the market. Oh, no, no, the street drugs are boring. boring. It's pharmaceuticals. It's like antidepressants. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, that's quite a stuff. comment. It's, and, and it's a mixture. It's, <laughs> right. There's going to be, you know, we don't even know what happens when, uh, people don't even know what happens when you mix antidepressants with alcohol over the course of 10, 15, 20 years. Talk so, to me later backstage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know, it makes people crazy. So there's a big risk of people just ordering all this stuff, gobbling up tons of like weird herbs that'll, that'll uh, affect them strangely. But hey, it's, it's them. It's one, one thing we know is going to happen for sure. As time goes on, there, there's going to be a time when we're going to be able to put our finger or our hand on our television screen. It's going to read a DNA printout It'll tell us all the things that are going wrong with us, what we need, what we don't need. This is this is the future. It's going to happen for My sure. My future, I hope. I but it won't work on the internet so, I because mean, people are already using their hand for something else. That's right. That's right. That's right. We'll take a break. We'll be. Guests will be Sherry Long, Deborah Gibson, Bob Larson, and citizen panelist Matthew Rainwater. All right, tomorrow we are going to have, hello, Shelley Long, Deborah Gibson, and Friday we got Christina O'Donnell, Stephen Wright, and Ben Affleck. We got about 10 seconds. Where are you, mother? <laughs> Just trying to sell field. So why is Bill Clinton the, the Antichrist in hey, five hey. seconds or more? Oh, yeah. Bill Clinton is the Antichrist because he's uh, degraded our moral values. Oh, oh get all right. Don't use that. All right. Country Claw, Richard Lewis, you are great. Melanie Morgan, you are great. I love this. I cannot stand this president.